All right, what's up? I'm Charm City 187 yo. Um, <clears throat> in case y'all didn't realize, when I made that last video, it was the third quarter, and we were winning 14 to 13. Uh, the way this game ended is a testament to the horrible coaching staff John Harbaugh has brought in to fucking Baltimore. First off, he is a hard, he is terrible. He has no clue how to manage the clock, no clue how to use challenges or timeouts or anything like that. First off, on the very last play of the game, he should have been standing right next to the referee because because it, it was obvious with like seven seconds left when they were running up to the uh, ball. Our defense didn't have a clue what the fuck was going on. All of our defensive backs were up at the line of fucking scrimmage. Anthony Levine was fucking, like, pushing, um... I think Kendrick Lewis and Jimmy Smith telling them to get back deep because they're on, like, the 50-yard line. The only thing they can do is throw a, a Hail Mary. But that right there shows how bad of a coaching John Harbaugh and Dean Pease are to not have worked on that, like, all fucking, um, all fucking training camp and preseason long to have them know what the fuck to do in that type of situation. This, this right here shows me how bad of a coach John Harbaugh is. Just listen to this. Come on, play. Where do we go forward from here? You know, um, offense, defense, special teams, executing plays, the things that we did throughout the game. I liked a lot of what I saw throughout the course of the game. We worked hard in the last two weeks to become a better football team than we were. <laughs> yo, yo, that right there shows how fucking clueless John Harbaugh is. How hard we've worked in the past two weeks to become a better football team. That was... That was them playing coming off of a fucking bye. Off of a bye week. They played like that. Like, they had no clue what the fuck was going on the whole game. That right there is why this team is 2-7. and seven. John Harbaugh has hit his head or something. And... Steve Bishotti, yo. Oh, my God. First off, the fans need to start sending a message to Bishotti. Stop going to the fucking games. Like, like, I could drive up the street and watch Pee Wee football, and they play better than this team. And Harbaugh has the nerve at the post-game press conference to say that they've gotten better over the last two weeks. What the fuck are you smoking, Harbaugh? Like, uh, I swear to God, he either wants to get fired so he can get that college uh, coaching job, or they're 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 losing games on purpose to get a, to get the best draft pick possible. Which, I, 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 honestly, I think that's what it is. But why not just come out and say, all right, our season is over. Instead of, like, every week acting like, we're going to win this week. We're going to fucking put it on for the fans and blah, 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 blah. And then have all these people come out and watch you play like that. Like, fuck you. And just, fans need to start sending a message to Bashadi Like, this shit is not going to stand. This shit is horrible. Kendrick Lewis, Kamar Lewis, whatever the fucker's name is, number 23, who dropped the interception at the end of the game, the third to last play of the game. They should have rolled him out of here fucking after the Oakland game. Why the fuck he's still here, I have no idea. Jimmy Smith and Ladarius Webb each can make one good play per game, and then they fucking suck the rest of the game. Um... Elvis Doomerville on the last play fucked up. But if you notice, Elvis Doomerville is the only one 
out of every single raven on the field that even did anything. He's the only one that wasn't standing there with his thumb in his ass. All the rest of them were just standing there like, duh, 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 duh. Like, what the fuck? Clueless. And that's bad coaching. That's bad coaching. Dean Pease needs to go. Mark Tressman needs to fucking go. Like, like I said, yo, we were playing the whole game like we were losing. And we were winning most of the game. And just constant throw, 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 throw. Meanwhile, he doesn't even have anybody to throw the fucking ball to. But yet they're still constantly throwing to these shitty ass fucking wide receivers. That can't catch. Have balls bouncing off their hands and getting intercepted. Pretty soon he's going to be throwing 40, 50 times and he's going to get fucking hurt. And then he's going to be out for a whole fucking season. And then paying $20 million to sit on the fucking bench. They need to just come out and say, alright, we're rolling it up. Our team fucking sucks. And, hey, maybe we'll get lucky in the draft. Maybe get some free agents in here that don't fucking suck. And, yeah. Yeah. That's what they need to come out and say. And so, like, hey, we're getting better. We're getting better. We're better than we were two weeks ago. If I'm not mistaken, you won two weeks ago. You just lost to the fucking worst run defense team in the league. You just lost to, like, the only team that could possibly be worse than you. You just lost to them. So you did not get better over the last two weeks in the bye. You got fucking worse. That, that post-game press conference right there is why I don't like John Harbaugh, and I haven't liked him forever, because he's a stuck-up fucking asshole who thinks he knows everything, and he's God's gift to fucking football, when really he's a fucking special teams coordinator. We got, the, we got the, one of the best special teams in the NFL, but the rest of the team fucking suck. Defense sucks, offense sucks, all of them fucking suck. Because Harbaugh wants people that can play both ways. If you play on defense, you have to be good at special teams. And if you're a receiver, you have to be good at special teams. Fuck that.